So last night didn't put up a video at all, which was because there just wasn't an opportunity to do anything like that. I got home at like 7.15 maybe, something like that, somewhere, somewhere close to that, and went up to grandpa's house and they were still eating so I just hung out with them, whatever. But then we ended up playing Scattergories on Teams after supper was all done, which was surprisingly fun. I think I like it better than individual Scattergories. It's just, it's interesting when a game that requires you to keep quiet and work as fast as you can by yourself is changed to a game where you're supposed to communicate with other people in order to beat another team that's also communicating with each other. It makes it, I think, a better opportunity to bond with people and to have some amusing moments when you think of something that definitely won't work for the game, but it's still fun to call it out anyway. And so we did that, then all the kids went to bed, which was nice because then it was very quiet. And we hung out and talked until we then watched a movie called Unstoppable, which I hadn't heard of and I'm not sure why I hadn't heard of it because it's got a ton of people that I recognize in it. It's starring Chris Pine, Denzel Washington, Rosario Dawson, a bunch of other people including a smaller part for the trash bag that is T.J. Miller, which we did discuss. A side note about that is that T.J. Miller's parents, uh, who are super rich, were the people that hosted my aunt and uncle's wedding. Like, my aunt and uncle got married in their house years ago. So that's interesting. But, going back to the movie, Unstoppable was really, really good. I I didn't know anything about it. It's basically about a runaway train and people trying to stop it. Inspired by true events. And that makes it even scarier that something like that actually happened. So, I would go look into it. It's more than 10 years old by now. And it holds up in terms of being just a really interesting, riveting, good action movie. Suspenseful. As suspenseful as something like that can be. <laughs> so, that is the scoop about yesterday. And tonight we probably are going to see Gaz Not Dead 3. And I think you probably know how I feel about that if you know me at all. But it's a free event. So we're probably going. I hope we're going today and not tomorrow because I would like to not do that the same day that I'm leaving to go back to Ames. But we'll see what happens.